Welcome to our solar electric trailer journey. We have a lot to share with you today. We Last week we went to the um, Florida RV Super Show and had a fabulous time. It's one of the biggest RV shows in the country. And we spent two days down there. I think the, the, the show went for four days. But we spent two days and saw all kinds of different trailers and things. Yeah, it was great. One of the things that we saw were, uh, well, several of the things we saw were concept RVs, things that aren't out yet. And those concepts tend in the direction of where we're headed, right? So it's very exciting to see the, the market beginning to go where we want to go, which is uh, electric RVs. So uh, the, the most exciting was uh, an Airstream solar-powered electric trailer. It has big batteries, and it really isn't designed to run entirely off solar like we'd like, but, but it, it's truly an electric vehicle in that it has big motors and it has big batteries. And so it's designed to tow behind any vehicle uh, and, and be no drag. So. I, I guess really we could even tow it yeah. with the bolt. Yeah, I, I'm not yeah. kidding. It's a big giant trailer, but we could yeah. tow it with the bolt um, because it powers itself. We don't have to tow it. It powers right. itself behind the car. Yeah. So you could tow it with any vehicle. And uh, and then when you get there, it will spin around. I mean, you can, you can get out of the vehicle, the tow vehicle, disconnect it, and then it, you can move it around with an app so that you can position it perfectly in your in the RV spot that you're getting. Uh, imagine, uh, you know, moving it to align with the sun. You can even do that multiple times yeah. a day. I mean, it's just it, it's just really an elegant, elegant solution. But because of this it, having its own powertrain, uh, it really doesn't uh, impact your gas mileage or your efficiency in an EV at all. It doesn't cut back on your range. It's really a a dramatic advance forward in that it's self-propelled as a trailer. It's just a concept not available yet. Um, the company that's an Airstream trailer. The, the same company that owns Airstream also is building uh, an EV, R, an ERV uh, that you can drive. Right? That's uh, uh, you know like a motorhome. It is a motorhome. Uh, also a concept vehicle. They're hoping to have it ready in a few years, but uh, this one has a battery electric range of 100 miles, but you're not done. Uh, it also has hydrogen fuel cells on board and uh, uh, you know a tank load of hydrogen. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what that looks like these days, but mm -hmm. a tank load of hydrogen will take you about 200 miles in addition to the, the battery charge of 100 miles. So you've got a total daily range of about 300 miles and although that doesn't sound like a lot if you're used to you know the minivan road trip of 600 miles or more in a day keep in mind that RVers rarely go more than three or four hundred miles in a day so uh, with that uh, Thor vehicle it's it uh, would need one charge or one refill a day of the hydrogen and you'd be back on the road so it's it's a great uh, concept for an RV again not not for sale yet the third one, the third one we saw. What do you want to answer? Uh, the? No, no. Go okay. Ahead, go ahead. So the third uh, RV we saw is the Winnebago. Now the Winnebago is cute, and of course Winnebago's got a brand. When we think of our uh, RVs, a lot of us think of Winnebago's okay. first. <laughs> yeah. They've been around for a long time. They've got uh, a little ERV, uh, again a little motorhome. It's a small concept vehicle. Uh, it has just 125 miles of range from a battery. Uh, it's pretty small. Uh, it is not, uh, you know, the big Winnebago that you might imagine. It's uh, maybe what you'd call a mini Winnie, uh, but it's a. Uh, it is definitely a concept. Evidence that further, you know, there's further development. Multiple companies working on these ideas. So it's very exciting to see what is coming. Uh, in the future with electric RVs. Yeah, and we think these will be available within a few years, but they'll be, well, they might have a price tag of about $200,000. we are just not willing to spend that amount of money yet on one of these. So we're, we're waiting yeah. on those. Yeah. Maybe someday we'll sell the house and yeah. buy one of those. <laughs> and buy but one of those I, and <laughs> live in it full time. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure. 
But there was a real trailer for sale at the show. You could have walked away with it, well, driven away with it right then for about $30,000. And it's called the Rove Light EV Off-Grid Coach. And it was interesting to see. It was small. Yeah. It was, it was kind of fun. It was great to see that there is, I mean, this is exactly what we're hoping to do, right? It is to have an all-electric trailer like this. So its features were a little bit different than what we uh, would hope for, but uh, great features, great features. And, and maybe we'll be educated more and ultimately end up more aligned with this one. But it has a, a 7 kilowatt hour battery system, which is pretty good. A uh, pretty big battery. I was surprised in this tiny little uh, RV to see the, such a big battery system. Yeah. It had 380 watts of solar, which would provide about 2 kilowatt hours of electricity per day. I really don't think that's enough uh, for the demand. And, and so what we're seeing is that I think that vehicle is really designed to charge the batteries at home and then go out Take on the out. vacation, yeah. go boondocking. Yeah. And the, the uh, solar panels extend your ability to stay out in a remote location off-grid, but they don't allow you to stay there permanently or indefinitely because you, you just wouldn't generate enough electricity to run all of your conveniences uh, full-time. You but, might get a week, maybe, if you're yeah. running the air conditioning and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, depending on the weather. Yeah. Uh, and obviously, if you're willing to sacrifice being cold or hot, uh, <laughs> yeah. you, you probably could run the uh, the refrigerator 24 hours a day and, and stay out there as long as you want. So uh, interesting, interesting, exciting really to see that uh, right now there is for sale uh, the kind of thing that we want. One of the challenges, it's a tiny trailer. So it wouldn't be enough for us if in our long-term solution, but it's also just barely too big for our bolt to tow. Yeah. So we can't tow it with a bolt. It's not enough if we get it, uh, get it with the uh, with a truck, uh, one of our, you know, the Rivian or the Tesla or the yeah. <laughs> Silverado, wherever yeah, comes. comes first. <laughs> so, you know, we're in a little bit of a dilemma there. But it was fun to see yeah. that little trailer actually it, being available for sale right in harmony with what we were trying to do. Yeah, and I think over the years, more of those will become available. More companies will put out things like that, put out yeah. RVs. I, I think it'll solar. be exciting to go back to the show next year. I expect yeah. that there will be a lot of trailers that have added these features just next year uh, because this one is, is the first, but I, I expect it to be the first of many a year from now. Yeah. That definitely. We, we did see trailers to tow behind electric trucks. We went into quite a few, kind of um, narrowed our appetite for certain ones. Uh, we went into so many different ones, different sizes, and looked at many different floor plans. And some floor plans work for us and some just don't. We found some we really, really liked and some we said mm, not so much. So that was very helpful for us to see that. Yeah, one of our, you know, out west when we looked at trailers, uh, the uh, uh, bunkhouse units were often featured prominently. Well, think yeah. about it. it we, living in Utah, right, uh, the people that were buying RVs oftentimes were families, and they needed bunkhouse room. units mm -hmm. for, well, here in Florida... Uh, they had a few of the bunkhouse units, but when they talk about them, uh, all the salespeople, so they kind of derided those yeah. a little bit, didn't yeah. they? They yeah. talked about them like they were sick. And it began, began to appreciate that here out in Florida, uh, the, the, the customers are retired couples uh, pre predominantly. Yeah. Yep. And so the bunkhouse doesn't have much utility. Uh, and so one of the salespeople really encouraged us to forget about other people who may visit Reminding yeah. us they probably won't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and to focus yeah, on creating a trailer that we would enjoy being in all the time. So that yeah. was, I thought that yeah. was an interesting... Yeah, we're surprised thing. at how many retired couples don't take kids with them, but they take their animals with them. They take their dogs or their cats. And so they don't need a bunkhouse to sleep in. Yeah, yeah. So we've kind of gotten away from that that one but yeah so it's it's an interesting thing we, we as we narrow down kind of figuring out what we might want to tow behind our silverado or our rivian or our cyber truck <laughs> the 
we, we probably don't want to go over 30 feet in length. And, and the reason is really more weight than length, mm -hmm. but you know, they, the towing, uh, all these trucks will easily tow a bigger trailer than that. The problem is they won't easily tow it for very far. So we want to keep it small enough that we don't deteriorate the range so that we can have good travel days with, we hope, uh, frequently limiting to one charge on the road during the day so that we're not charging multiple times. Um, one of the things that we saw, I think, Gail, you'd agree, uh, that we saw as we looked at the, the trailers uh, on, on, that we began to appreciate that even though we don't want to be over 30 feet, we don't want to be much under that either, yeah, right? That yeah. If we're going to be in this for weeks at a time, uh, you know, we kind of look at six weeks as our, our longest trip. Uh, that's a long time to be in a yeah, trailer. Yeah, so you don't want it too small. We'll go nuts. Yeah, we, we've got to have it kind of the right size. So that's that was a consideration. So we're kind of looking at that just barely under 30 feet as being our kind yeah. of target size and looking at floor plans that don't include the bunkhouse feature. Yeah. Uh, so that's kind of where we're beginning to uh, narrow down. So. Yeah, but we did find a trailer to tow behind the bolt, and I fell in love with it. It was It's a pop-up trailer called an A-Liner Scout, and it had plenty of room. Once you were inside, two beds, it had a room, it had a sink, it had a spot for a small fridge that we could put in. And because it's a pop-up trailer, it has the hard sides, and you can stand up in it. So you don't feel cramped. Yeah, so this is, you know, there, there isn't a, a big menu of options for us. We, we identified about 10 or 12, uh, maybe 13 different options of things that we might be able to tow. We eliminated some of them because they really were too, too big. Uh, probably half we eliminated because they were too big. And there were some, you know, kind of motorcycle uh, yeah. type trailers that we eliminated just because they're too, too small, small to really enjoy. Um, so the A-Liner Scout is right at that intersection, right at that, right on that threshold where it's just small enough that we can tow it safely, we think, with the, the Chevy Bolt. Mm -hmm. It weighs about uh, 1,200 pounds dry and uh, it's got a low profile. So we think we can tow it. We're excited about it. But then I'll, I'll uh, well, together, Gail and I will have to then add the solar features because it doesn't come with the solar yeah. features we're looking None. for. We're going to have to add that. Yeah. So we're thinking about getting a used one mm -hmm. uh, so that we have some budget left for uh, a adding the, the solar, solar and the batteries because that system is going to be expensive. We'll talk more about that next week, in fact, uh, because we learned a lot, too, about solar at the show. We talked a lot of people that know something about that and and so we're getting smarter on that topic so we are very anxiously and very quickly looking for a used a-liner scout so if you can help us out <laughs> let us know if you have one you don't want it anymore want to sell it yeah let great us point know. great point let um, us know we'll have our hitch installed on our chevy bolt on february 10th so that's just about two weeks away yep. uh we'll be ready to tow something we're excited for that that's a big day in our lives yeah uh, yeah so uh anyway we're excited we're so excited we're getting so close now to having our own trailer yes so we'll see you next week See ya. thank you for joining and you know if you find this interesting please feel free to share okay thank you bye